Hey, hey! Good news, everybody! I'm back. I have a lot going on right now. But uh, for the most part, things are groovy. I've picked up a third job. Very few hours, but decent pay. And that has led me to not have much free time for anything at all. I think we're right here. 23 minutes in, that looks like us. So let's get back in The Walking Dead. Oh, by the way, this is Shenra from Shen Place. Welcome. Ah, we finished episode one. That's where we left off. Ah! And uh, now we get started on episode two. I hope this works. The first time I played through, there was some weird transition problems between episode one and episode two. Everything was fine between episodes two and three, and everything was fine between three and four. I haven't played episode five yet. I'm not sure if it's even out yet. It's December now, and it's supposed to be out in December. But anyway, hopefully we won't have that problem with episode two today, so let's try. And again, I'm going to try to choose decisions that I didn't choose the first time. I know who you are. Oh, I got another road. good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Doki doki. And it seems to be working perfectly fine this time. All the options that I chose actually showed up in that little playthrough of what happened last time. Okay, so welcome to part two of The Walking Dead. God. Now, yep. now, yep. it's a walker. We've got an axe. Oh, I don't know if I can hit him. Oh, there's so many distractions. Oh, fine, just hit him. <laughs> I love how sometimes you get less than a second to react, and other times you get all the time in the world. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Why don't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Eh, yeah, we'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Uh, dip, dip. Yeah, he's got family, man. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. 
Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Who knows what Larry's problem is? Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. <laughs> yes, he did. It's a birdie. Look at the birdie. Look at the birdie. <gasps> I see a birdie. Don't risk the noise. Can you make that shot? Shoot it! Take this shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Ah, you fucking suck. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Dramatic music! Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck <laughs> is there a bear trap out here? I'm I don't know, man. A damn thing. Lee, this is fucked up, we gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. God, After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Nope. Lee, come on. What is there to think about? We gotta try. <laughs> it's the silent dream. Hurry, please. Hurry. <laughs> Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. Walkers. Now or never leave. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. No. Oh, come Can't on, I don't want to do those this. Walkers off of me. I did this last time. I want to do something else. Do something. Calm down, kid. We'll get him out of this. No, we won't. Hey, do something. No. Get me out of this. Yeah. Oh, crap. Do you think you can get it open? Okay. Try to cut the chain. Shut up. Hurry, you, man. Just help him. No. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Yeah, chop the tree. Come on. Try something. Yeah, chop it. <laughs> Lee, it has to be now. There's got to be another way. Lee, are you nuts? Quit fucking around. Try something else. No, I don't want to try something I else. Damn it, Lee, just leg. cut off his fucking leg. No. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Jesus, I need to walk. Lee, I can't keep him back forever. <laughs> I can't believe you used to stay like that at the Air Force Base to lift orders. You're not cutting through that. Oh, come, come on, on. Just get it out. Now. now, we gotta go. <laughs> they give you all the time in the world here. It's so dumb. The first time I played this, Please. I just uh, maybe I can pry it open with this branch. Maybe I can pry it open with this branch. Pick it up. Hurry! Uh -huh. uh -huh. God damn it! <laughs> so they give you what four different Come choices on. there, Try and all of them do nothing. Here we go. Yes. Come on. We gotta go now. There you go. Yes. No. Uh, no, don't leave me. Damn it, Lee. Uh, I'm sorry. No. We can't leave Mr. Parker like that. Give me the gun. Give it God to me. Damn it, let's Travis. go. Travis. No gun. Went for the gun. He went for the gun. Oh 
god. Grab the kid and keep moving. Come on, move! You can't leave me like this. Please get me out. Chapter 2. You know what? One second, one second. I want to turn the sound down just a bit. It is too high. Uh, Alright, let's try that. Back to the game, please. Episode 2. So yeah, the first time... Uh, I told Mark not to shoot. The first thing I did was chop off that motherfucker's leg. And if you chop off his leg, it's different. So that's cool. There actually is something different happening here. I like that. I didn't realize that you could actually choose not to chop his leg. I thought they would force you to do it. But they eventually just said, fuck it, you're an idiot. You can't figure out how to chop it. So here you go. Different. <laughs> are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are that? these? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We're the ones that shot him. Then you should have done the right thing and finished him off. What the hell is wrong <laughs> with you? Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <laughs> If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Lift. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. <laughs> Can we slap her too? <laughs> You only have four food items for ten hungry people. <gasps> no! 
true. And some of them are cheese and crackers. Okie dokie, we have control again. And yeah, this game does not give me a whole lot of opportunities for commentary. It tends to go on and on and on. There's a lot of direct conversations with people, which is it's cool, but uh, I would also like to be able to make little notes on what's going on. And that's difficult to do, especially when Lily's going on a tirade about being a Nazi and shit. Anyway, uh... I have a feeling Katja's not going to be happy with us. She doesn't know how to treat humans. She's a veterinarian. Anyway, talk, girl. Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? I better not. I better not. It's okay. I'll handle it. Just give me some space, okay? <laughs> yeah. Sturdy, but it's not going to hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. Yep. We dug through those for food a long time ago. Yeah, dumpsters for food. So this is the motor in. It has a whole lot of cool things, including the girl that shot herself. That's nice. Uh, Doug's over here. You know what I realized? I'm watching someone else do a, a Let's Play of this as well. And I'm doing this as the opposite of my first playthrough. In other words, I'm choosing things that I didn't choose the first time so I can get a new experience. And the one I'm watching, he's doing pretty much the exact same things that I'm doing in this. So <laughs> he's choosing the exact different options that I chose the first time I played through. It's really interesting. I couldn't believe that's happening. It kind of sucks because I know lots of people are watching his Let's Play as well. Anyway, let's talk to Doug. He's got some cool alarm system here. Leave it to Doug to rig up a warning system out of garbage. Damn right. What's up, Doug? Hey, Doug. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? What are you working on? Talk to me about this system. What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Does it work? Does it work? It should. We'll have to wait and see. You think Katja can save that guy? Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. <laughs> God, Doug, Take you're so easy, weird. Doug. You too, Lee. What's cool about Carly, the girl that we didn't save, she's just a, a very strange person. Like, she couldn't figure out the batteries. She couldn't figure out the radio antenna. She couldn't figure out that radio at all. She was just... Will you hold oh, the God, damn board go. steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What's up? Uh, let's talk to Larry. <sighs> uh, Lily wants to ditch the new people. Here, let's get this guy some food. He's, he, he looks so weak and tired. And Here, yeah. Larry. <laughs> you get half an apple. I hope you don't think this makes us friends. Nope. I could have gave you nothing. <sighs> <laughs> oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. This guy is such a Need whiner. The wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <laughs> Here, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. <laughs> Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. <laughs> uh, three pieces of food left. So we gave one to Larry. He's working on the wall, and he's pretty strong. I figure he might as well keep him strong. Uh, let's talk to Mark. This is the new guy. We picked him up somewhere. Apparently he had food, so we picked him up. Hey. Will the kid make it? I don't know. You know it was an accident, right? I didn't mean to shoot him. I know. It was crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. Uh, 
Air Force Base. So that's where we picked him up. Ever you miss ever it? Ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Well, good luck with that wall. We'll get it. Now you can supervise while the guy with strength actually does the work. Oh, look at the soccer ball. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Yeah, and something to piss off Lily with. That's perfect. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Uh, do you really need it? Do you really need it? My dad gave it to me for my birthday. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Let's talk to the new kid. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? The first time I went through, I totally befriended this guy and went all buddy buddy. So Relax. I'm not gonna talk to him. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Yeah, we only shot him. He'll be fine. You know, shooting people doesn't do any harm these days. Only zombies can hurt you now. Uh, let's talk to Duck. Uh, you're pretty. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Oh, yeah? Here, have some food. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? <laughs> Look at that face. He's like, hey, food, yay! <laughs> uh, yeah, just get some crackers and cheese. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! He is so...